men. Animal, oh, animal man. This is animal man. I have a beard. Much like the goat and the turkey. I mean, the turkey looks like it has a beard, but it probably doesn't. Who did another uh, illustration of that? Who does those? Those uh, cartoons? I'm not sure. For ONA. Oh, Isn't um, it Coke Logic? It's Coke Logic, yeah. And how come you're not sure? <laughs> was it, I wasn't sure which animations. The one that he did on Fess. Yeah, it was Coke Logic. Go find it for me. Okay. Be all part of the modern superheroes. They are modern. Matt, Ohio, you're on the run of Fez show. Ronnie B, I got yeah. two things for you, man. What's up? A, how did Fez not choose the ambiguously gay duo as his favorite modern superheroes? How modern is that? I, I mean, you're bringing up, you're bringing up Toby Maguire. And then B, uh, what did you guys think of the Watchmen? I thought the comedian was probably one of the better characters to be coming out in the last, you know, 10, 15 years. Yeah, 18 years ago, it was a lot better, though. Al, in Maryland, you're on the run of Fez show. Hey, Ron, what about gay pride parade guy? He just wears Timberlands for short shorts, walks around, doesn't say anything. You're DA in it, buddy. You're DA in it. They getting to you? Oh, yeah. How come? Well, the animal beard thing was Chris's to begin with, so I don't even know how that got <laughs> so attached to me. I don't know if I mentioned up the lion, but... Because it came out of nowhere, and it came back later after the the conversation was already gone. All right, let's pick it up. All right, here we go. I believe a lion has a beard. I think that mane goes into sideburns and stuff. So I would think that would be another animal that falls into the beard category. Or at least some sort of 70s hairdo where it's kind of, it looks blown dried and uh, with the big uh, mutton chops. But it is an animal with facial hair. I don't think it's part of the goat family. And even though it's not hair, I would say the turkey looks like it has a beard with that red stuff that just hangs down below it, below its chin, below its beak. So that's all I was going to say. <laughs> that was all I had. Um... Um, Fez was here for a little bit, and then <laughs> things started going wrong, and Todd chased him right out the door. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that's fucking funny stuff. Yeah, I had originally brought it up. Goat beards. I thought you weren't even, even. Why didn't you come in with them? Because <laughs> we had gone. I think I, I, had all, I said all I had on goat beards. <laughs> so did we, I. We, but then we no shit. <laughs> I thought that you were gonna think of other stuff to say about goat beards. But Chris had already said it. That's my favorite stuff where there's like a long enough period of time to change the topic, but it just gets picked up again. Yeah. As if there was um, like the, the, the screen had froze for a moment. <laughs> um, here's Nathan. You're on the run of Fez show. Hey, guys. I, uh, was playing the video the other night, and my wife was wondering why they were only playing his audio. 
why they were uh, muting out everyone else's. And uh, I had to tell I had to tell her that no, that's just how bad of pauses he had. It would actually be fun if you could just take other people and that are in conversations and edit out and see if that's what goes on. Was that more of a Todd bit or a Fez bit? That went way Todd. Who's here now, Todd or Fez? Todd is here, full force. How come? Um, just messing up too many things. What are you messing up, buddy? Just stuff. Was the Coke logic thing? That didn't help. Now you feel sad. Yep. What about? Fuck you, Vito. Get out. Get the I'm fuck not... out of the room. <laughs> what did you do, Vito? Get I'm the not... fuck out of the room. Just wait. Hold on, Vito. What happened? Come back in. I don't understand what happened. Get the fuck out of the room. Hold on, Vito. Sit down. I need Get to the talk. fuck out. Hold on. What happened? Vito, sit down. I need to talk to you. My intern. Now, what happened? What did you do? I laughed when I get nervous. Yeah. So I, like, started laughing a little. What part were you laughing at? Just everything that was happening right now. Because I was getting, like, that's what I do when I get nervous and I don't know what to do. Yeah. It's like a nervous tick. I wasn't laughing at you. I'm just, that's. Get the, out. Pez, you can't throw the kid out. That makes you look like you're picking on the weak kid. That's something that Todd would do if Fez wouldn't. True. Absolutely true. Fez, Todd's here right now. What would Fez like to say to Vito about Todd? Fez would like to laugh along with Vito at oh, Todd. Good. So, do you understand yeah. what's going on? You know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean I wasn't laughing at you. <laughs> You're laughing at Todd? <laughs> He's doing it again. So mm -hmm. yeah. Now, right away, he starts laughing again. Like, look. Play that part. This is this is Todd. Um, Fez was here for a little bit, and then things started going wrong, and Todd chased them right out the door. And I remember when Vito laughed at you? Yeah. Yes, I do. How did that feel? Good? No, that felt bad. How come you're snapping at the kid, though? Because I know it's... Chris had been laughing too, and then he stole those things earlier. I never stole anything. On again, ba -ba -ba -da 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 -da. Jason, you're on the run of Fez show. Yeah, I've got. Uh, I'm, I'm going to rank Batman one just off the pure first Batman that he did, uh, and uh, and then I'll go uh, Thor and then Iron Man. Like a fence but caller. If you take outside of the modern stuff, do you think Christopher Reeves just kills it with Superman if you go outside of modern? No, he did get killed, though. Um, Jeff, you're on the Run of Fez show. Who you? Who was this? I guess you're Jeff. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I didn't hear you say my name. Sorry, Mahabo, my brother. Guys, I've been listening for a long, long time, and, and I, I've been... Holding off and not making this call, but I got to call and ask Watley, what is the difference between him attacking Vito just now and what Tori Kwan did a few months ago that he got so angry about? I'm going to punch out and listen, guys. Thanks. I didn't use a gay slur. I didn't threaten to go to someone's house to beat them up. I think there's a lot of things there. I didn't say anything about Vito's girlfriend. You scared the kid just for like laughing and everybody else was. I didn't want to look at him laughing. But why him? Why not Chris or Ron? At that point, he was the only one laughing. Hmm. Seems like a little bit of, you know, rich incognito to me. There he goes. There he goes. Mm -hmm. Look, that's that laughter again that he He's does. He's crying almost. He's Inappropriate like laughter. But sometimes like that, it looks like you just want to beat up the weak guy. Richie, Richie eye style. And not that he's physically weak. It's just that, you know, when people were writing, Ron was laughing right before Vito did. 
But the difference was I was l- l- laughing at him. That wasn't how it happened. You were asking me how I felt, if I felt sad. Like I was being nice? Yeah. Good. I wonder why Vito wasn't being nice, why he wasn't trying to be nice. He was trained by Chris Stanley. <laughs> okay. I can't control if nervous laughter. He was nervous. He had some laughs in him. That's... Why did you call him in here, though? Because <laughs> <laughs> Pips is sick. <laughs> All right. It's dead. How bad this crew is. Pips is sick. Pips' illnesses are, are it's insane. It's like being out at sea and one of the guys just starts losing it. <laughs> I think what he did was an inappropriate church laugh, which we've all done. A funeral laugh. It happens. You want to just watch your cartoon again? No, I'd that rather happen- not. Have to watch the whole thing. Chris just put it back up again. Thanks, Chris. Does that drive you crazy? I believe a lion has a beard. I think that mane goes into sideburns and stuff. So I would think that would be another animal that falls into the beard category. Or at least some sort of 70s hairdo where it's kind of, it looks blown dry and uh, with the big uh, mutton chops. But it is an animal with facial hair. I don't think it's part of the goat family. And even though it's not hair, I would say the turkey looks like it has a beard. With that red stuff that just hangs down below it. Below its chin. Below its beak. So that's all I was going to say. All right. Why do you say stuff like that, though? Why do you say stuff like, so that's all I was going to say? Say. That was all I had left. But who says so, that? Someone asked me what was I going to say before I started, went into that. So though I said that's what I was going to say. But you know that, that when you normal people talk, they don't add sentences with, and that's all I was going to say. And that's all I got to say about that. And that's all I got to say about that. Um, Ben, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, Ronnie Fez, I just want to say that I think this uh, this Fez's new therapist is doing a great job. This, you know, the the Todd and Fez thing, it, it is a little nutty, but it makes for great radio. And uh, But Fez has come out of his cell. He no longer just talks about either gay issues or his own personal... Fez is, uh, you know, we're not even saying... Fez, he just got pissed off about a couple of things. But you're doing... You're, you're way more here than not, Fez. You're nodding on the radio, though, so that doesn't Yeah, help. yeah. <laughs> Oh, shit. Just be in a conversation. I'm trying not to make Vito laugh. Well, that's not what you should be trying to make him laugh. Vito loves you. He's the intern. You're, he's doing a report on you. I didn't know that. Yeah, he was. It's called How the Fuck This Guy Ended Up on the Radio. It's not true. <laughs> He's laughing again. Remember when he laughed earlier? It was like disrespectful. Yeah, very. Um, Jeremy, you're on the Run of Fez show. Uh, my name's Todd, Todd Gump, and that's all I got to say about that. I love the fact that in the history of comedy radio, Vito is the first person to be thrown out for laughing. <laughs> I actually was just complimenting today on what an easy laugher he is. Because I can sit in here with this fucking idiot, and I'm like, I'm killing. I'm destroying. Uh, Nick, you're on the Ron Fez show. Hey, what's up, Ronnie? Yeah. That is how to make a fair man instead of bullying Vito. You should be yelling at every single listener that listens to you talk. We all fucking laugh. That's mean. Jesus. You're da in it today, huh? You're nodding. Can't think of what to say. Got you pissed off. Just sad. It's good, too, though, sometimes. He's biting his finger, too. <laughs> Holy He's shit. fucking biting his finger. Why another man is upset. He should learn to figure out what a pen looks like so he can put them in a cup. Well, from earlier? Yeah. Got him. Why'd you ask him even to come back in? 
I if didn't. He, if he annoys you like that. The pan again. Vito lost the pan again. <laughs> Remember how many nice pens used to be in there? Mm-hmm. What happened to all of them? They go the way of the blues. <laughs> they disappeared, too. I'm going to re-up on pens. Here's what I don't understand. Yeah. And I would like to fucking figure out how he does it. Coke Logic has depressed Fez expression <laughs> down so well. And I know we've never taken pictures of that. But look at Fez's face right now. When he puts on the depressed face, that's Fez's depressed eyes. It's scary. Coke Logic may be a genius. Looking down... Like a kind of like a thousand yard stare. Uh, if all he's missing is gripping the table real hard, like he's gonna fly away. When Fez gets like this, you're gonna no sell it too, right? You're not even gonna be in a discussion about it. I'm just trying to think of what to say about it. <clears throat> Where if you start to explain yourself, it'll become another cartoon. Oh yeah. Absolutely. I'm sure the illustrations are already being worked on for today. Storyboarding, that sort of thing. You wanted to intern again next semester, didn't you, Vito? Hope nothing messes that up. What could mess it up? I don't know. Oh, that's bullying if you're going to threaten them. I'm not threatening them. I'm just saying I hope nothing messes up. Like maybe some of his stuff gets knocked over, right? Fuzz, why that would be bullying. Why didn't you just admit bullying is fun? You picked out the intern when everybody else was busting balls. You went after the intern and tried to throw him out. His feelings are hurt. Is there something you like to say to him, Fez? <clears throat> By the way, no. where's Big J Okerson? Uh, I texted him. I'm not heard. He might be in, be in the subway. Sounds like somebody's go, go, go. Mm -mm -mm. Look at your luck. You were having a really good day today. I don't know, just, um, I was having trouble getting through the Rankum game, and all of a sudden it all then popped Todd up on came. me. Then Todd came? Yeah, it all just creeped up on me. Do you, um, do you see Todd and Fez as goofus and gallant? Yeah, I mean, goofus messes things up on purpose. Todd just... Is a mess up. So you I see, mean, Goofus does it out of maliciousness. Right. Todd is just a plain fuck up. And how about Gallant and Fess? They're the good ones. Hmm. They're both good? I never liked fucking Gallant as a kid, I thought he was a prick. <laughs> I thought he was a little fucking brown nose prick. Well, he had to, you know, always be fucking right. When I was at the dentist's office, I would always draw little dicks and, like, piss going down on Gallant's fucking head. And then I read under it, Gallant loves to be pissed on. <laughs> He's in the water sports. <laughs> and cuckling. <laughs> Even at the young age, he knew. He wanted to watch other people bang his chick. I was just thinking about oh, if I can read or get yelled at. <laughs> How come you don't stick up for your intern? I stuck up for him. You let him fucking dry out there. Look, the kid is having a nervous laugh. It's all it is. Yeah, but it's too late for you to get into that. Did you notice, Vito, who came to your fucking rescue? You did. Only fucking Daddy Ron. Aunt fucking Hicks left you out to fucking dry. <laughs> I never leave a man behind, though. That's the difference between me and Chris Stanley. 
do or die. Fucking getaway guy who fucking drives off and leaves everybody else coming running out with the bag in their hands. No. We'd never do that. That was all I had. Um. Now th this is this is Todd. Um, Fez was here for a Just little bit, down. and then things started going wrong, and Todd chased them right out the door. <laughs> Stop pointing at me. I was just thinking. Remember that time we started. Laughing. It's malicious when he does it. But now you let him get away with it. You let him sit here. You know, you should have thrown him out. Uh, Eddie, Eddie, you're on the Running Fest show. Hey, Ron, how you doing? Yeah. Sound like a million bucks. Hey, you know, it, it's obvious. Fez makes it real obvious that he's aggravated at, at, at Pepper as well. But he's not going to jump on Pepper like you will that kid because Pepper tell him to go fuck himself. And that kid ain't got no other choice but to sit and listen to it. I jump on Pepper all the time. Mm, today, you were, today you just played silly with him. Let him get away with being a fucking dirty thief. I'm not a dirty thief. I'm telling you guys. I'm not stealing I, things. He, it's a joke to fucking... Yeah. Fez, I think you got a problem. I don't have a problem. It's I'm not, not so much what you stole, but the fact that you have to steal. I don't have That's to That's what steal. bothers me. I don't have to steal. I'm not going to fucking rob from us. I think you let Bobby the Champ run roughshod. He's not running anything. I'm telling you, for real, I'm not taking things from the office. No, but I think that you're letting your fucking drunk friends do it. No. You know why I've told you this before? Pick your friends. Don't let them pick you. That's so. That's good advice. Well, I don't, I, I'm not going to let anyone steal from us. That's bullshit. Why, when you said this is that good advice, you made the universal jack-off <laughs> fucking sign? <laughs> Pap again. It's always going to be Pap again. Well, people are loving the rank game. They're still playing. Oh, Jay is finally fucking signing in downstairs. Mm -hmm. He's got something big happening for Comedy Central. Um, his uh, episode of This Is Not Happening. Did you see any of this at all? Oh, yeah. I watched it. Yeah, this morning. Jay actually looks handsome in this. He, Jay's also appearing at the Helium Comedy Club in Buffalo, New York, this uh, Thursday through Saturday. Helium Comedy Club from for uh, tickets. I got a break here, but we'll be uh, right back with Big J Ogerson, and we'll get talking about a bunch of stuff. It's the Run and Fez show. More Run and Fez.